Hello everyone, welcome to Linuxin.com YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to install R on Ubuntu 20.04. So R is an open source programming language that is used in analyzing and implementing data and statistical computing. It is very popular and extensible language support by R Foundation and an active user community. R language provides a lot of user packages for various fields of study. I'll show you how to install the R framework and how to add packages to it from the official CRAN network or CRAN network. As always, first of all, you have to update your repository. So for that, what you would do, you would write here sudo. Then you would write here apt and then you would write here update. Okay. So hit enter. It is going to ask you for the password. So put in your password, hit enter and it would basically update your repository. All right. So once your repository has been updated, after that, you're going to upgrade your repository. So we'll wait. All right. So once you have updated your repository, now what you're going to do is that you're going to upgrade it. So for that, you would write here sudo apt and then you'd write here upgrade. Okay. Hit enter and it would basically upgrade your repository. Okay. All right. So. The R project, it is updated on regular basis. That is why its latest stable version is not present on Ubuntu official repositories. For this purpose, we will be adding an external repository to the apt package manager. And we have to add a GPG key to our apt package manager via the command that I'm going to show you. So we have it written here. I'll try to put these commands in the description so you can copy it from there. So this right here is the command and this right here is the gpg key. All right. So we copy the whole command. We come here and we paste it in our terminal. We hit enter and you can see that gpg key has been uh, added. All right. So now I'm just going to clear it. Now that you have added the repository key to your app, you can continue with adding the dev repository for the R language. At present, the latest package for Ubuntu 20.04 is R 4.0.0. So the command will contain CRAN 40 or CRAN 40 at the end. All right. You can check for the latest package via the CRAN official website. So the second command for adding the repository is this one right here. Okay. So you can see CRAN 40 at the end. So you just copy it, come here and paste it in your terminal, hit enter. And now basically you can see it has started working and finally it would give you the news that the repository have been added successfully and once it has been added after that we can install our language you can see that it has been added so once more you need to update your repository so you would write here sudo apt update once you do that after that we're going to install the R framework right bingo now basically we are ready to install the r base file on our ubuntu machine so for that what we would do would just write here a command sudo then we write here apt then we write here install then we write here r hyphen base okay so we hit enter and you can see that it has installed it okay i already had it but in your case when you'll be installing it for the first time it would ask you whether you want to install it or not so it would give you a y and n option so if you want to install it go ahead press y and it would basically install it right now come to the next step so now you are ready to install various packages with the help of r for that purpose we will start r with the following terminal command that i'm going to show you it will open the R shell in the terminal window. So let's go ahead and let's do it. So we write here sudo hyphen I R. We hit enter and now you can see that it has opened up the R interface for us inside the terminal. So we could go ahead and we could add some of the packages. So there are a lot of packages and libraries present for R and we will be selecting the text plot package that returns ASCII graphs with line plot, scatter plot, bar charts and density plot execute the command that i'm going to execute here you have to write here install and then you're going to write here dot packages and then you have to write here brackets and inside these brackets you're going to write here text plot okay so you write here text plot you hit enter and here you go you can see 
that it ha it is installing it is down it is downloading it first and then it would basically install it right now you can see that it has been downloaded and it has been installed so we can use text plot right away so in order to use text plot library via the command you have to write some kind of uh, command like this so you would write your library and then you would write your brackets and inside these single quotes you're going to write your text plot you hit enter and you can see that it has not given us any errors which means that the text plot library has been loaded and it is ready uh, for you to use okay so now in order to use this library definitely we have to write something and we have to build a graph right so we have to uh, give appropriate arguments so let's go ahead and uh, let's use some of the data to plot a graph so the data that we'd use in this plot it will contain the distance required to stop a car and the speed of a car so we'll just write here uh, let me just write here text plot all right and then we're going to write here brackets and inside these brackets we're going to write here cars we're going to write here one and then we're going to write here comma we're going to write here cars again and then we're going to write here comma two and then we're going to write here x axis which is going to be x lab uh, and then we're going to write here equals to single code and then we're going to write here speed we're going to write here comma y lab equals and that's going to be distance okay as we have talked about we hit enter and there you go you can see that the graph has been created all right so this is a kind of a graph that we have plotted and you can see that on the uh, x-axis we have speed and on the y-axis uh, we have distance all right so that's how you can basically plot a graph using the text plot and that's how you use the text plot package inside the R language okay you can also learn more about the text plot library by using the R shell command help uh, bracket text plot okay so you can say that this is the man page of R language all right so if we hit enter you can see that there are a lot of stuff like the man page which you can read and understand and then basically apply all right so now what we're going to do is that we are going to come out of it so now uh, if you want to basically quit this r framework or r language uh, interface all you have to do is that you have to write your queue and then these brackets you hit enter and you can see that it has it has asked us you want to save the workspace image yes for y obviously y for yes n for no and c for cancel so we press y here hit enter and now you can see that we have come out of the r programming interface so in this video we have seen that how to install r programming language before that we have seen how to add the gpg key and how to add the repository and after the installation, we have seen that how to basically open up the R programming interface. And after that, we have seen how to add some of the packages and how to use them. We have also seen that how we can go to their man pages, the R programming, like the description of the library. And we've also seen that how to quit the R interface. So hope you have liked this video, you have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you really like it and share it with your friends. For written articles, you can always visit our website, linuxin.com. Thank you so much for watching.